Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com and I want to quickly talk to you about configuring Nginx as a reverse proxy. Now, as you can see, I've got Nginx running over here. It's just running on localhost and I've also got a back-end server running. In this case, it is the Apache Tomcat application server and it has an application running on port 8080 at the context root slash examples. It's just the basic Java examples application. But you notice that this runs on port 8080. I want to make sure all clients that want those applications first go to the Nginx server and then Nginx will forward all of those requests to the Tomcat server. People should be able to type in localhost slash examples and that should take them to the Tomcat slash examples app. But as you can see right now, I just get a 404 error message. So how do I configure Nginx as a reverse proxy? Well, here's what you do. You gotta go it deep into the bowels of your Ubuntu server. I'm gonna open up the Etsy folder and then I'm gonna, oh, gonna have to search here a little bit to see if I can find that Nginx installation. There it is right there. And I've got sites available. And then I've got this default file here. It's that default file that I'm gonna make some edits to. So I'm gonna open that up in terminal, that folder anyways, and then do a sudo nano default command to open up the file. And I'm gonna mosey on down to the location area. And you can see right now, it's got this entry that says, if anybody just goes to the basic slash root, we'll try and find the file for them. And if we can't find the file, we'll send them a 404. What I wanna do is I wanna say, hey, if anybody comes to this server and they go for slash examples, so localhost 80 slash examples, I always like to close my curly brackets before I do anything else. Well, what I want to do is I want to have Nginx act as a reverse proxy and I want it to pass the request to localhost 8080 examples. So you type in proxy underscore pass HTTP colon localhost colon 8080 slash examples a semicolon at the end there. And now when somebody goes to localhost slash examples, Nginx will act as a reverse proxy and send that request back to the Apache Tomcat server. So I'm going to do a control O, do a control X, close out of that window. Now I will need to do a sudo system CTL command to restart Nginx. That will allow Nginx to start up anew with the reverse proxy settings. And when I come over here and do a localhost call, while well, we can see that Nginx is indeed running, but is Nginx's reverse proxy system working? Well, I'll type in slash examples and boom, notice that all of a sudden, Nginx is working as a reverse proxy. Anytime someone comes in and asks for slash examples, those requests are forwarded to the Apache Tomcat server in the back end. So now people won't go to Tomcat directly. They'll have to go through the Nginx server first. So that is Nginx configured as a reverse proxy. Now, it wouldn't be fair if I didn't give you a, a couple of warnings about configuring a reverse proxy. I'm gonna open up that default file again. And I'm gonna go down to this proxy pass setting and I'm gonna add a few entries here. Now let me see if I can paste this in because I've got it on my clipboard. And here I'm just gonna add a couple of new settings. And so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna turn proxy buffering off. That makes things a lot more efficient, but if you've got a real-time application that needs really low latency, you might wanna turn off the buffering. 
You notice that I've also added in uh, a configuration that allows the backend server to know the real IP address of the client making the request to the Nginx server. You see, for the most part, if Nginx acts as a reverse proxy, when it sends a request to the backend server, be it Apache or Tomcat, well, it sends its own IP address. But Apache or Tomcat might want the IP address of the client. So in that case, you add this setting, X real IP, which will provide the real IP address of the client that made the request for the examples application. Similarly, we can find out what the forwarded port was and the forwarded host was with, with these X forward port and X forward host settings. So sometimes you wanna, well, I would say most times, you wanna add these proxy header settings in along with the engine X proxy pass. And with that done, you can do control O to write everything out. Then you do control X to exit out of here. You could even go in and do a little system CTL restart, come back and watch the fact that Nginx is still running as that reverse proxy, but with all of those updated port settings, header settings that are going to make things uh, a lot more sensible for that Tomcat server running in the background, background processing the requests that come in from that Nginx reverse proxy. And there you go. That's how easy it is to configure Nginx as a reverse proxy. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Nginx, Docker, Kubernetes, Apache, Tomcat, DevOps tools, Git, GitHub, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ. And please, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?